I'm Dr. Flux, and in today's video, we're going to check out Hammer Prime Blasters. Get right into it. All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and see the history of the Nerf Hammer Prime Blaster. Now, this line of uh, priming was introduced with the Zombie Strike Hammer Shot, which is an iconic blaster, and to this day, almost a staple in many Nerf Wars. Now, after the Hammer Shot was created, it seems that there was a long line of failed attempts at the greatness of the Hammer Shot. So, in this video, we're going to kind of talk about what it is that a Hammer Prime Blaster is, how, in fact, Hammer Priming works. We're going to talk about some of the various product lines that introduced some of these Hammer Prime Blasters. And we're going to kind of go over some mod potential, talk about my future plans with some of these, and then we will go ahead and give final thoughts. Let's go ahead and take a look at how a Hammer Prime Blaster works. Now, as you can see here, when you pull back the prime action, it depresses the spring and locks down, and then when you pull the trigger, it releases and fires. It's actually a pretty simple action. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, so with this ability to prime a blaster with one hand, you now can effectively dual wield blasters. That's why the hammer shot and other hammer prime blasters have been so popular. Okay, so the Zombie Strike line came with two Hammer Prime Blasters, the Hammer Shot and the Double Fire. This one utilizes a smart AR system, which can cycle from one shot to the next. So it does not fire two, but one at a time. Uh, and then of course, the Hammer Shot is just uh, a rotation. One of the reasons why this is such a beloved blaster is because it actually has a revolver. And the Hammer Prime action causes that revolver to rotate, which is awesome. If we go to the Nerf wiki page, which I'll provide a link in the description, uh, we can see the Hammer Shot actually was released on August 4th, 2013, under the Zombie Strike series. Now this blaster is actually referred to as the Brother Blaster to the Rebel Sweet Revenge. The Hammer Shot was also released alongside the Sludge Fire and began as a Target exclusive, but then later uh, other stores such as Toys R Us and Walmart. This is considered to be the main rival to the standard pistol blasters of the time, which were the N-Strike Elite Strong Arm and the Disrupt. They uh, were very similar as they both had rotating barrels. The only difference with the Hammer Shot though is now prime with one hand. And the final thing is to note that the Hammer Shot has a relatively sensitive trigger, so trigger discipline is something that you must keep in mind, and that's kind of that kind of falls in line with a lot of the Hammer Prime Blasters. You do need a, a certain amount of trigger discipline when, when operating them. Next up is the Double Strike. Now the Double Strike came out in fall of 2014, also under the Zombie Strike series. The Double Strike uses an intelligent air restrictor system. It's very similar to the one in the Rough Cut. This was also the second 2014 Zombie Strike Blaster to be released after the Sling Fire. The Double Strike is currently the smallest blaster in the Zombie Strike series. Also on a side note, there is a reshell of the Double Strike, released under the Rebel line, known as the Duet. The next product line from Nerf was the Doom Lance. Now Doom Lance came out with several Hammer Pride Blasters. They came out with the Negotiator, which is much like the hammer shot, has a cylinder that rotates upon prime. Many consider this blaster to be a huge letdown due to the overall bulk of its shell. When you open this blaster up, you soon realize there's a lot of dead space inside. Now, if they had minimized the shell and we were given an eight shot, what essentially is a hammer shot, I think this blaster would probably be one of the best sidearms. The blaster was released in 2017 with a capacity of 8 darts and it featured a very neat clear window that you could see through to see its internals, much like the Lawbringer. They came out with the 4 shot Persuader which uses the smart AR system to go from 4 different barrels. They do not all 4 shoot at once, they, they cycle through. 
The Persuader was released in 2016 under the Doom Lands series, and it was actually a Target exclusive when it first released. It is kind of referred to as the little brother of the Negotiator and the Lawbringer. It is also pretty similar to the Rebel or Victory. And the Lawbringer. This one has been, uh, I've seen a lot of mods that are done to this where they cut down a lot of it. I will probably be doing the same. I uh, notice with a lot of these Lawbringers, this stress point right here breaks, it, it snaps. This is, uh, a lot of these are from Goodwill. So when I purchased this one, it did have a crack down the center here. So unfortunately, when I mod this, I will be attempting to repair this with epoxy and I will probably lose the, cl the clear see-through area, which is kind of one of the things people like about this blaster of being able to see the internals of it. So unfortunately, when I work on this one, that will be going away because I will be having to reinforce this area. I also will be taking out material here because I'm not too fond of this big chunky area where your fingers trying to move in to get to the trigger it is not comfortable the lawbringer was released in august 1st 2015 supports 12 darts and it also was a target exclusive in the united states however it was an exclusive at walmart in canada and Argos exclusive in the United Kingdom. This blaster was released with the Vagabond and was actually highly anticipated, but much like the Negotiator, there seemed to be a lot of extra dead space within the shell. The higher capacity did justify its size, and they did offer dart storage. It is important to note that the hammer shot spring upgrades can also be done with the Lawbringer's spring because they share very similar internals. That's all the line for the Doom Lands that I have. I believe this is all of them. If you know of any others, let me know. Uh, I did a little bit of research and I could not find any other Doom Lands Hammer Prime blasters. The next Hammer Prime blaster is from the Alpha Strike line. And this is actually a more recent addition to the Hammer Prime family. I did a review on that, so go ahead and check that out if you'd like. Now this blaster has decent performance. It is a little clunky compared to the Hammer Shot, which I discuss. But all in all, it's pretty solid. It is nice that they've added the in-strike attachment point and give you some dark storage. The Hammer Storm was released in spring of 2020 under the Alpha Strike series. Once again, this blaster was a Target exclusive, and that's actually where I picked mine up. This blaster has a capacity of eight darts and comes with a whopping three sling attachment points. Okay, so final thoughts. Uh, which Hammer Prime Blaster is the best? Well, we all know who would win that war. Hammer Shot just can't be beaten at this point. The modification potential for this, the aesthetics, the ergonomics, the reliability, it's not surpassed by any of these blasters. Uh, they came close with some of these, but for some reason they just wanted to put a bunch of big bulky pieces of plastic all over these things. But after some modification work, these are not that bad. But the amount of work you have to put into them to get the level of performance you can get from a hammer shot is just hard to beat. Uh, I will, however, be doing modifications on these because the one thing I am not fond about the hammer shot is the capacity. I would like more capacity in the hammer shot. I'm actually pretty fine with the out of box performance of a hammer shot. So, as far as it goes, as far as spring upgrades and taking out the air restrictor, uh, I might pull out the dart posts. Not a big deal. I don't know how much that improves performance, but working on the plunger tube assembly. You know, those kind of fine, little fine tunings we can do with these. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was informative and let me know if I am missing any hammer primed blasters. I would love to see more. I will be trying to get a hold of the Rebel series hammer prime blasters just so I can uh, take a look at them. But I do believe the Sweet Revenge is essentially just a hammer shot. So, but to be honest, I think the Sweet Revenge has a pretty nice shell and would be painted up pretty, pretty nice. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, what we do happy here is go back, 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 back.